Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and I have another Divi Pro tip for you. So we want to make the button module full width and sometimes that doesn't happen um, and we want to put it and make it go the full width of whatever the column is but then we also might want to center the text and things like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right, so let's make our button full width that we have here in our example. And you may be wondering, um, why not, you know, this sounds like a simple thing, um, but you'll notice that there's no sizing option in the button module. I guess this is kind of like an oversight on Elegant Themes part, I'm not sure. So here I'm in a text module, see the sizing toggle? So we have all these options, width, max width, um, min height, height and max height, but even still, it, there's no like min width. So. But we could say width 100% and we'd be fine. But in the button, there's no nothing like that. And I even, you know, double checked here in the, the custom button styles. There's nothing down through here for making this full width. So that's okay. It's really, really easy. Um, so right here, I have a, like a column structure of two thirds and one third, and that's whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go in here to the button settings Go to the advanced tab, look for the custom CSS toggle, and then here in main element is where we're gonna type a tiny bit of CSS. So let's say width 100%. So it's a width colon 100% semicolon. And you can see already my button is full width. Um, so you may think, well that looks, you know, it's great, that's great that it's full width and everything, but, um, what about centering it? So for that, we need to add another line. We can say text dash align colon center semicolon. And there you go. That's how you center a button text and make a button full width in any column. So whatever the column width is, you know, if I would just, you know, I could go and change this to anything else. Um, it's going to stay full width. Okay, so that's how you make the button module full width. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know that's a short, quick one there, but um, hopefully it's helpful. I know I actually use that quite a bit, and I'm sure you can too on your websites or on client sites. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next video.